What's up, everybody? It's Mike Flex here at Seven Studios, and I just wanted to clue in anyone that, like me, was previously oblivious to this special indie license deal that Autodesk offers for both 3DS Max and Maya, uh, as long as you know where to look, that is. Uh, in a nutshell, same as Houdini and I'm sure other big packages, they allow you to get into the ecosystem for a significant discount versus their full studio license. In the case of Max, $265 a year for studios and freelancers netting under 100 k a year reportable income. Uh, I could just not be seeing it, but they don't seem to promote this link anywhere that I would consider relevant. So all you have to do is go to the link that I put in the description, which I found after crawling some forums related to Tyflow, uh, which to be slightly inaccurate is basically like having Houdini and or particles inside of Max, and it's currently free for all Max users. Um, I'm personally diving into Max for this plugin alone, and it has definitely opened up some new avenues in my pipeline. Uh, I'll deviate into that stuff in the follow-up video just because I'll, I'll ramble if I get into that here. Uh, once you're on the correct page, you have to choose the current country that you reside in, in my case, the United States. And then you scroll down to the eligibility portion in the center here, which basically gives you the rundown on what does and doesn't classify as eligible. Uh, if and when you make more than the 100K threshold in a calendar year, uh, you're required to purchase a full license and some other caveats that you should read into yourself rather than have me parrot it to you and possibly overlook something important that could affect you legally or financially. I don't wanna be liable for any of that. I say this because Autodesk is absolutely notorious for what many consider extreme audits into even small studios, which can frankly sink your ship and you don't want that at all. Um, okay, I'm eligible. That pops up this new button, Get 3DS Max Indie Today, which will take you straight to a checkout cart, given that you've signed into your Autodesk account. Uh, from there, it should be pretty self-explanatory, um, and I like that you can use the PayPal checkout, and if you have, like, rewards sitting around in your PayPal, you can just, you know, pay with some of those before it hits the funds that you're paying with otherwise. Um, if you don't have an Autodesk account yet, then obviously sign up. Uh, and of course, don't forget to check out their free educational licenses first if you're literally just learning and have no current intent to use the work in a commercial forum. Um, I'm a little hazy on this, but it's super important because if you create work in the educational versions, I recall hearing through the grapevine that you do not have the legal right to sell things that you make with the educational license. And again, they're known for strong arming small guys with super serious and scary costly litigation. So don't mess around with that stuff. Um, on a politics level, you should absolutely take these things into account whether or not you want to use any Autodesk products at all. But frankly, at this uh, point, it's such an embedded part of the motion graphics and game development um, pipelines that you really do yourself a disservice avoiding it entirely, at least if you're operating a generalist studio like myself. Um, even though Cinema 4D, Blender, and Houdini are my daily drivers, I still find myself regularly working with native Max assets and scenes from CG Trader that are V-Ray native, uh, client approaches, um, and hitting walls with X particles that Tyflow can frankly do backflips over with its CUDA acceleration um, and the node-based system. But I think it's more wise and efficient to have the license in your back pocket and work that into your day and project rates um, or have it as a line item for clients that require that you're using Max um, over a package that you're more comfortable with. But there we are. Max and Maya for under $300 a year. That's nothing to shake a stick at, uh, especially if you're aware of the unique and coveted feature sets and proprietary plugins in each program uh, that likely won't ever be ported elsewhere, at least for a while. Um, so what do you think? Will you be picking up either package or both? Is this a good price point for what these programs offer? Are there other softwares out there with similarly discounted indie licensing models that you think the MoGraph community should be aware of? Uh, let us know in the comments, at me on Twitter, slide in the old Instagram DMs, whatever you prefer. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in on this one. I know your time is precious and there's a lot of content out there, so I super appreciate you sticking around. Uh, if you found this video informative at all, please like, subscribe, share, share, and don't forget to hit that little bell for notifications when I post new videos. Uh, feel free to join my Facebook group, Flex Your Mind, and or my Discord channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Mike Flex out. Peace.